I'm Surasi Gonzalez. I'm not your typical mother. I'm a grieving mother. I grieve because I lost a baby. I lost a child um, through cancer. And one of the purposes I have is to get to see her for eternity. God let me borrow her for two and a half years. And those were the best two and a half years of my life. I think the only thing I did good as a mom, and it may sound hypocritical to many, but I think the best thing was to let my daughter go. I saw the chemo that she would take. I saw the medications. I saw the pain. I saw the many times the doctors and nurses would come and she would be so scared. And as I pray and pray to God to let me keep my daughter, you know, let me see her grow up. God loved her more. And she was just tired. And as a mom, I know it's hard to hold her until she took her last breath and it's very hard it's very traumatizing but what gave me peace is that last moments that my daughter was alive she she told me that she told me that mommy the angels are here and she left with a smile and she took her last breath in my arms. And there I realized that my battle as, as a mom had lost, but God's purpose has won. My whole purpose is that to help other moms that grieve. Grieving for a mother who has lost a child is gonna be a grief that's gonna last forever. A person that lost their parents, you call them an orphan, but what do you call a mother who lost a child? That's nothing to be named because it's so heartbreaking that we don't even have a title for it. No mom would want to be in those type of shoes where, you know, a doctor comes up to you and say, you know what, it's not constipation, it's not high fever. Your child does have cancer. It's an ugly feeling. So one future that I do see is that I want to start a foundation. I want to start helping spreading out the word that families with pediatric cancer need help. Hopefully my foundation will open up called Miracles in Action, MIA, so MIA, to help families, especially help mothers and help children that have cancer to make sure that they're not alone. Because I'm a grieving mom, I'm also a mom mom that I have an older daughter, Sophia, that she still needs me and she is my shoulder to cry in. And sometimes when I cry in the closet, she's the one that opens up the door and tells me, mommy, let's go work out. Let's go to the park. You know, that's that's my Sophia to you. Uh, my Sophia is a true warrior. Mia did pass away, but my love for her is, it's unbearable. My love for her is something that will never die. I love her now more and I am fighting for her more than I've ever fought in during her cancer treatments, during, you know, her life here on earth. So I tell mothers to hug your kids, um, to kiss them every morning, to kiss them every night. You know, even if they're growing up, you know, going through high school, just remember some mothers will never get to see that. And I would never get to see my daughter turn four or five or have her quinceanera. I would be visiting her tombstone and saying, today you would have been six years old. You know, what kind of child do you want to be? One thing is for certain is that a mother's love will never die, even when the child passes away. That's why we grieve. That's why for almost a year that my daughter's been gone, I have cried every night and every morning. But because my love for her is still there, I miss her and no one will take that away. That's what I love about this is that no one will take away the love I have for my daughter. I mean, that's why she's in heaven. She wanted me to experience this, in my opinion, to cherish everything in life has to offer.